In this episode of Automower Answers, we're going to take our first look at the brand new all-wheel drive automowers. Ever since this picture right here hit the internet in late 2017, everybody's been up in arms about when we will see the all-wheel drive automowers here in the United States. They want to know what they cost, how big of a hill they can handle, and things like that. So far, there's a few dealers that have managed to get some across the pond to their dealership and a few customers that have got their hands on them as well. So there are just a handful of them here in the United States already, but the rest of us have to wait till at least the spring of 2020. So here's what we can tell you. We'll start out by letting you know that there will be two models available here in the United States. The 435X, which will be the consumer model, and the 535, which will be the commercial model. 435X will come in the standard X-Line gray, and the 535 will have the orange covers just like the other automowers in the 500 series. But the good news is anybody who wants to get a 435X, they also have the interchangeable colored covers for them just like the regular automowers. So you can have your choice of white, gray, or orange. The 435X will have a menu screen, but it will not have a keypad. Instead, it will have a dial that you can use to enter your PIN code, change your settings, and navigate through the menu. In the center of that dial will be the power switch instead of having it located on the bottom like in previous models of automowers. The 435X menu screen is on top of the mower and does not have a cover over it like previous models of automowers. The 535 is just like the other 500 series of automowers. There is no way to change the settings on the mower itself it all has to be done remotely. And just like the 435X, the 535 has the power switch right on top of the mower. The all-wheel drive auto mowers can handle an incline of up to 70%. Now there are some variables to that 70% and we'll get into that in another episode on down the road. But the big thing is they can handle a much steeper incline than any of the previous models of auto mower available. So here's some more random or just interesting facts about the new all-wheel drive automowers. The new all-wheel drive automowers use the same wheel motors as the current 400 and 500 series automowers, and there's a total of four wheel motors in the all-wheel drive automowers. Whenever the automower is moving, it is using all four at the same time. It doesn't just cut it back to where it just uses the front ones or just uses the rear ones. So anytime this all-wheel drive automower is moving, it's using all four wheel motors. The charging station for the all-wheel drives is basically the same as the charging station for a low-cut model auto mower, except with a longer bottom plate. The charging station also has the ability to use up to three guide wires, just like on the 450X or the 500 series. The front wheels on the all-wheel drives are the same as the rear wheels on the 400 series auto mowers. The rear wheels on the all-wheel drive are the same as the rear wheels on a 315X. The all-wheel drive mowers have a single battery pack. It is the same style battery pack that was found in the 2019 high-cut auto mowers. It's the same style. According to their parts breakdown, it's not the exact same one. But again, they only use one battery in the all-wheel drives and it is located in the rear of the mower. Now, of course, the grass cutting components are located in the front of the mower. And it is the same cutting disc used on the 400 series mowers, but as far as the cutting motor, it is completely different. They actually label it a cutting module because it's a whole assembly you get and it is nothing like the cutting motor or blade motor that you would find in a 400 series auto mower. Sticking on the topic of the cutting system, the all-wheel drive auto mowers, if you heard me say it earlier, use basically the same charging station as a low cut model auto mower except with a different base plate that's a little bit longer but technically they're not a low cut and technically they're not a high cut they're right in the middle the highest cutting height available on an all-wheel drive mower right now is just under three inches not quite the full three inches but it's right in between that max height on the low cuts and between that max cut on the high cuts the 435X and the 535 both come with ultrasonic sensors, just like on the 450X and the 450XH. The circuit board for the ultrasonic sensors is the same part that you'll find in a 450X or 450XH. Other than that, there really aren't a whole lot of similarities between these things inside compared to the 400 series of automowers. 
And if you didn't know already, the all-wheel drive mowers are fully articulating, meaning that the back end can move completely independent of the front end. This means side to side and up and down. So by now, I'm guessing you're probably just saying, yeah, 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 enough with that stuff, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. I just want the thing. Answer the biggest question of them all, which is, what is the price of this thing going to be? What we were told is it's going to be right around $4,300 for the 435X here in the United States. They should be available in the spring, like we said earlier. Um, not really sure. I guess the dealers will be able to start ordering them here in the fall, but they will not have them until at least sometime in the spring. That could be early spring. That could be the end of spring. I'm sure there's going to be a pretty high demand for these things. So there is the potential for back orders there. So if you want one, best thing you can do, contact your dealer ASAP and get on their list. So that's a wrap on our first look at the all-wheel drive mowers getting ready to hit the United States here and hopefully the spring of 2020, fingers crossed. So you guys know the routine. Leave some comments. You know, if you got any questions, that's the place to do it. Drop some questions there in the comments. Um, we try to answer as many of them as we can. We do get kind of busy now and then, but you know, if you're subscribed, you'll get the notifications next time we put out a new video or any kind of material. Um, you know, pass this channel on to your friends if they're interested in an automower or if they own one already. You know, let us know what you're having problems with, what you want to know about, you know, features, uh, models, anything like that. We try to put some kind of material out there to help as many people as we can, but we don't know what you need help with if we don't hear from you. So thanks for watching and keep checking back.